Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing the NASCAR Heat 2 career mode. This will be episode 4. In episode 3 we continued our new career mode and had another hot seat offer to drive in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. This time at Dover International Speedway. We were supposed to get at least 22nd and ended up placing 21st. So we definitely earned our 12,000 bonus check. Hopefully we can do the same thing in this episode. Uh, just a reminder that we are currently using the normal difficulty, 25% race length, three times normal tire wear and fuel consumption. All flags are turned on, but there are relaxed cautions, and it is single stage racing with full damage. Also, there is no practice and no qualifying. In the first two episodes, we were using the default setup. Then we went to Dover. Uh, the default setup at Dover was laughable because of how tight it was. Uh, there was... Absolutely no way we're going to be competitive with that setup. So I had to make a few adjustments to free the truck up and be competitive. So from now on, we will make a few minor adjustments if necessary to be a little bit more realistic and allow us to hopefully meet our goal every race or at least come close to it. With that out of the way, let me just say thank you for watching this episode. If you uh, could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below uh, it would really help me out, so please do that if you could. Even if you dislike the video, give me a thumbs down and then tell me why in the comments. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and continue our career mode here. Let's see if we can get another hot seat offer. Because I have been told that uh, this entire first year is only going to be hot seat offers, so let's go ahead. Week 17, we have received an offer. All right, we could use your help driving the number 66 truck at Gateway this Friday. Get a top 25 finish and we might consider working with you in the future. Uh, this is gonna be a $10,000 for a top 25. So this is once again, a three-star team, Bolin Motorsports. It is at Gateway, so let's get to it. All right, so we have made it here to Gateway Motorsports Park. Uh, we are gonna be driving the number 66 truck. No sponsors, just a completely white vehicle. Awesome. Uh, we are supposed to get a top 25 for our bonus. So let's get right to it here. All right, here we go. Get ready. We are at Gateway once again. <laughs> 40 laps here. Go up the inside. Can we get in the inside here? Thank you. All right, so we're up into uh, 27th right now. Now, once again, I did uh, I did make a few adjustments to the setup here. Not big ones, just a couple small ones. So it could be a little bit more realistic here. It was pretty tight, but even without the setups, because I have I have restarted this a couple times, um, just so I could test out the uh, changes and the adjustments. But even without the adjustments, I think we would probably get around 20th or so. But with the adjustments, I think we might be able to get in the top 15 here. One, because of the adjustments, and then two, just because of the way the AI drives, we're able to really beat them on the brakes here. That's where we're gonna make up most of our time on this short track is on the brakes. They break a little bit earlier than what they really should, which is fine with me. See what I mean there? They're, uh, we just gained two spots because of braking. I mean, we can gain a little bit on the, uh, you know, these straightaways, but most of the uh, gains are definitely in the braking zone.
Here we go with number 17. Or, well, he's he's a 50, I think the 50 truck. In 17th right beside me here, Mr. Kawapple. And I did learn how to say his name correctly by uh, somebody commenting on my episode 3 that just came out today. You know who you are. My response to him was, uh, out of this, out of this entire episode, you're gonna, that's gonna be your comment, is to tell me how to properly say Kawapple? Okay. That's fine with me. <laughs> See, we're already up here in like uh, 17th, fighting for 16th. All these guys are tight with each other. We might be able to get maybe a top 10 if we're really lucky here. Because all these guys are, you know, like I said, we're going to make most of our time on the brakes. Okay. What are you doing? I think that was a lap car right there. 31st place. Getting in the way, holding up the bottom line. You know these AI don't want to give up that bottom line. Stay low, stay low. Still a car out there. We did have some damage there. Please tell me uh, we got 5% aero damage. Clear, clear. Any ra no radiator and no engine damage. All right, so we got lucky there. Please don't wreck on me. Okay, well that froze up. Good to know. We're three wide in the middle. Please don't hit me. I don't know why that froze up. My racing froze up on me earlier as well, so... I don't know if it's the uh, PC or... I don't know what's going on. But then again, like NASCAR Heat 2, it's frozen up on me like three different times in the last couple weeks, so I think it's probably just NASCAR Heat 2, to be honest. Does that, uh, does this game do it to you guys as well? Is there any way to uh, get that to go away? Is it a graphical thing, or? It seems like it would be a, uh, not a graphical thing, but a uh, processing. I don't know. It's saying we can go about another 14 laps on fuel. About 90% tire left. We are up into 14th right now. We're supposed to get top 25, so it looks like that's going to happen. Some days you are the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. Today it looks like we're the windshield. The way they've got these uh, AI programmed, we're just beating the brakes off them. Trying to get a good spot where I can get back on the throttle there, but haven't found one yet. Starting to run wide here. Tires are going away a little bit. Now, if you remember uh, last race, last episode, we did run out of fuel. And was able to luckily make it back to pit road. So we got about, uh, say, an 11 laps here, estimated. Man, we're getting tight here on this longer run.
Just going to have to uh, be a little bit more patient on the uh, throttle coming off the exit. And in the middle. The middle is where you can really screw yourself coming off the corner. We need to start looking for the uh, pit entry here. I'm not sure exactly what speed pit entry is. There's pit entry going into turn three. I believe you do have to use that entry there because you can't use that right there. We got guys running us down right now behind us. That's not good. Come on. Getting pretty tight here. These guys are definitely catching me. Try and keep it on the bottom. Man. Wasn't able to do it there. Maybe going super deep on the brakes here has uh, made my tires fall off more than what these guys are. Here comes the next guy. All right, how many more laps of fuel? Saying five right now. Let's get across the line and see what it says. Uh, four laps before we go got to the line there, so. So if we try and go around, yeah, when it says one more lap, we, we got to come in because we're not going to be able to go. That's what happened the last time because I was told in the comments, I can't remember who it told, told me, I'd have to go back and look. It's not a big deal anyway, uh, that when it says one to go or when it says, I think it was when it says one to go, you can go. Like when it still says one to go and then you cross the line and says zero, you can still go one more lap. I'm like, ah, okay. And I trusted him and then we ran out of fuel. So when it says one, we're gonna have to pit. Holy, did you see that pit injury? Let's try and run as far as we can here. Alright, so now it says one lap, so we're going to come in. We'll let this guy go by on the inside. So we can get to the uh, bottom here. Oh, that's the first place guy. Oh, wow, okay. Holy shit! Are you kidding me, dude? What the fuck? I gotta slow down. These guys gotta slow down. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna take two cans of fuel, four tires, some repairs, yes please, because we got damage from that. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Wow. Could they be any more aggressive?
The AI have no idea when somebody's in front of them, apparently. Look at that damage on the front end. We got no we got no damage in the back end. It's built like a tank on the back, but built like aluminum foil on the front. We got ran over. Probably gonna get ran over here too. Coming out of the pits. All right, there goes first place, so we are a lap down right now. Let's say we can go another 24 laps. Come on, stop, stop that. I completely forgot to brake right there. I was thinking about something else. I was trying to do the math in my head. Okay, so yeah, we should, we'll have enough to go all the way. But the way these uh, episodes have been working out, we have been getting a late caution right before, like one or two laps before the end of the race or within about six laps to the end of the race. We haven't had a caution yet this race, so another 20 laps. It's saying we can go 22 laps on fuel. We are currently in 18th position. So we did lose a few spots there in uh, pits. But I mean, when people can just run you over on pit road, or not pit road, pit entry, pit access. And nothing happens to them and yet you're still, that's just ridiculous. They've got to fix this AI. Like, I understand that, you know, it's pretty hard to uh, code and get them to do what you want to do, but w if they're going to be given the, uh, the license for NASCAR to bring out the next game, this, is, this next installment, definitely you've got to take care of the AI because that's just unacceptable, in my opinion. The way I'm driving right now is unacceptable. I usually do a lot better when I have people running around me. If I'm just trying to hot lap out here, I go second place. I do uh, much worse. When I've got somebody to uh, actually run against or compete with, I do much better. All right, so we still have uh, zero radiator damage, zero engine damage. I did see that we still had 1% aero damage. I've just got to be more patient in the middle of the corner. All right, so uh, 17th place is two and a half seconds away. I'm guessing that's him in front of the uh, second place roads there. Let's see if we can run him down and get into 17th. We have gained about four tenths. Yeah, we're catching him. Austin Hill in 16th place is like 6.7 seconds away. I highly doubt we're going to catch him, so we're probably going to have to be satisfied with 17th here, which I'm fine with because, I mean, we're, we're only expected to get a top 25, so that's fine with me. These two corners look the same, but they're they're different. 
this corner right here is a lot tighter it feels like you got to be a lot more conservative in the middle of the corner and in three and four it just seems a little bit bigger seems like you can carry more speed in it's easier to get to the bottom stay there keep your speed up Turn one and two though, not so much. We are catching them slowly but surely. Yeah, turn one and two, it just, uh, I'm not as good as, as I am in three and four. Looks like we got a leader coming up on us. Let him have the inside. inside yeah, third place. All right, so it's saying we got about 10 more laps of fuel. Uh oh, nine laps. We might need to save some fuel here. Nine laps of fuel and we got 10 laps to go. This isn't looking pretty. I guess we either hope for a caution or I don't know if we can save enough fuel at this point. I don't think we can. I think we're going to have to come in again, which sucks because we're probably going to lose more spots because they drive like 80 miles an hour down pit access road. Come on. Who's this guy we're catching? A lap car? Yeah, lap car. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. We're in 16th right now. Somebody must have came in and pit. Oh, come on. Inside, he's on your bumper. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Man, I love this. Thank you, NASCAR Heat, too. It'd be much more enjoyable if I could actually play it without it locking up.
Yeah, it looks like everybody's pitting again. We're up into 11th. What would be really nice if a caution came out like right now. We're not going to be able to uh, save enough fuel here. We're definitely going to have to come in. We're in 10th right now. Please caution. Come out. Eighth? Oh, buddy. We need a caution. Oh, yes! <laughs> what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? All right. So, let's see here. We got 23, 20 seconds through. Uh, okay, we got estimated fuel, three laps. We got six laps remaining. Uh... Yeah. We should have more fuel than that, though, if we're going to be doing caution laps. We got a pit. One can, four tires, yeah. Okay. We're in fifth right now. Did we not... Did we not come in? Two laps here, okay. Oh, we got two laps of fuel. We didn't pit. Uh oh. If we run out of fuel behind in front of this big old pack, we are screwed. Oh, please let it last. Please let it last. They're saying we can only go one more lap here, which we only need to go one more lap. I really wanted to pit there. We're probably going to lose some uh, spots by running out of fuel. But that's fine. That's fine. As long as we can get around... Oh, okay. Yep, love you too. Uh, as long as we can get around turn four. We could, we could run out at any point here. We just ran out. What the... F what just happened? That's not a caution? No freaking way. Now you throw the caution. Four laps, there's not four laps remaining. That was the last lap, people. Pit, one can of fuel, yes. What in the hell just happened? We're in 24th right now. Oh my god. Oh, it went into overtime. It went into overtime. Clear, clear. Inside is on your bumper. Come on, come on, come on. Inside, good drive off here. Clear line, get out of here. Outside. Clear, clear. Let's go, buddy. Okay, can we still get a top 20? I think we can. Last lap. Oh, we're up into the 18th right now. Come on, buddy. This ending is madness right now. Come on. Oh my god. 17th. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. 
How do we run out of fuel going into turn three? Get hit from behind, a huge cluster, and no caution. Oh my god. Probably because I have cautions on, but all well all flags are on, but relaxed cautions. I don't I don't mean that relaxed, NASCAR Heat 2. Come on. There's no way that's <laughs> Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We was up in the we should have got a top five right there. We run out of fuel going into turn three, get hit from behind, spun around. It's the last lap. It was the very last lap. There shouldn't have been a caution that came out. But I'm guessing they're going off of the old rules. So if I'm guessing the leaders didn't get to the mark. I don't know what happened. I don't know how to put this all together. But either way, we come in 17th. That caution comes out. We're the last person on the lead lap in 24th. We're out of fuel. Yet, somehow, we're able to make it all the way back around pit to get our... <laughs> it's so... Oh, my God. It just baffles my mind right now. Somehow, we was able to get 17th. We went into overtime. It put another five laps on the, uh, the board. So, instead of ending at lap 40, we end on lap 45. And we get 17th. That's just super crazy ending. Oh, man. Got to come down for that one. That was absolutely insane. We should have had a top five there. But uh, first of all, when that caution came out, I wanted to pit. But because I didn't hit accept, I didn't push A to accept it, I, th I thought that you just... Yeah. As long as... Because it asked what you want to do. And then I hit, I want to pit. And then it asked, okay, well, what do you want on your pit stop? And I made it to whatever I wanted. But I guess because you don't hit the A again, they're like, no, you I, apparently you didn't want to pit. So then I'm in the top five, two laps of fuel, and we run out going into turn three. And then they wait until basically the race is over to throw the caution. We're back in 24th. We come back in and pit because we have to. We're out of fuel. They add five laps, and we're able to gain, go from 24th, to 17th oh my god crazy absolutely crazy all right well let's go check out our, how many points we got we get a speed rating of uh, 88 holy hell all right nice job with that top 25 finish today we'll keep you in mind for a ride next season we do get a payout of ten thousand dollars so uh awesome See if we get any uh, anything else here. Nope. Looks like it's just going to the next hot seat offer. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. That is uh, today's episode. Once again, thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate your support. Uh, please come back for uh, the next episode. That was a pretty crazy finish. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely enjoyed racing in it. Uh, it was something... Uh, I've never experienced before, but pretty, pretty crazy, uh, but also pretty good racing. So I think it was a pretty good episode. Hopefully you feel the same either way. Please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either one you decide no matter what, please leave me a comment. So I know what we can uh, improve on here or uh, change to make it better. Once again, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for your support. Catch you on the next one.